Welcome to our product training series. Uh, this is how to sponsor a job on Indeed. My name is Ryan Kohler. Some of you may have seen me before. I'm the CEO of Applicant Pro. I uh, wanted to just run through a quick update and change that we made to the way you sponsor a job on Indeed on Applicant Pro. Um, for some of you that may not understand Indeed sponsorship, um, I'm guessing most of you do, but I'll give a real quick overview, just like 20 seconds. Uh, this is Indeed.com, and actually, let me zoom in to make it a little easier. I ran a search for sales in Lehigh, Utah, and as I scroll down through here, you'll see that uh, there's a handful of jobs at the top of the list, usually three of them, and they all say the word sponsored on them. That's what we're talking about when we're dealing with a sponsored job. Um, Indeed runs just like Google runs, or just like pretty much any other search engine where the main body of the jobs that show up here, um, you know, kind of jobs number four through 10 or 12 or something like that, 14, are all free jobs. They're jobs that are inhaled directly from Applicant Pro. But at the top of the list, the top three are sponsored, and you'll see them because they say sponsored on them, and also the bottom two jobs are sponsored. That might seem weird for you to say, well, why, is the, why are the bottom two spots something you'd pay for? Um, there's a ton of data in it that almost all comes from the search engine world. Those top three jobs that show up in a search get clicked on the most. And actually what's funny is this last job right before, this very last job before you go and switch the page, gets a pretty decent number of clicks as well. And so anyway, so that, that's kind of how Indeed sponsorship works. When you post a job on Applicant Pro, it automatically goes into Indeed's organic area, this middle area. Um, but if you need additional applicants, um, you can sponsor the job, which has it show up on different searches in the top of the page. Now, something to keep in mind here that if you're not very familiar with how sponsoring a job works on a normal pay per ad model, like say a career builder, your job won't show up every single time. So you can't really go and sponsor the job and then run over to Indeed and search for it and try to find it here. It's It goes in a big mix of ads. And so your job's going to show up enough times to spend through the money that you're paying because you're actually paying per click. Meaning if your job gets seen 10,000 times, you don't pay anything. But every time somebody clicks on it, that's going to remove some money from the budget that you're setting. So that's kind of how Indeed sponsorship works. The way it used to work with Applicant Pro was that you used to be able to go in here and create a job board favorite and you would pay us and then we would sponsor the job and then we would pay Indeed. Um, and that's a new change. This is, today is Happy New Year. It's January 2nd, 2018. And we're changing that up a bit at the request of Indeed so that instead you will pay Indeed directly. So there's a few things that that requires in order to get that set up. Number one, if you come in here to your account and look at your job board favorites tab, you'll see that your Indeed sponsorship favorites are now gone. We've, we've archived them um, or, or basically disabled all of the old Indeed sponsorship ones where you were paying us. Now, don't worry. If you sponsored a job in December, the job is still live. It's still being sponsored. It will run for its period of time to spend that money that you paid for it. But starting on January 2nd, 2018, today, um, you need to set up a new job board favorite in order to sponsor a job on Indeed. And the process is just a little bit unique. So that's why I wanted to run you through it. So first thing you need to do, come over here, log into your account, click on job board favorites, and click new job board favorite. We've actually got three of them in here, although this, this amount really doesn't matter. You can set it to whatever you want once you get going in here. But so you just simply choose one of these and you'll see the X is over here say account. Billing means you pay us with your credit card in the system. Account means that it's going through your own account at that job board. In this case, that's indeed.com. So I can go ahead and just select one of those job board favorites, um, choose my posting method, which once again is account. You put in your price. This is the price and, and you've got to enter it a couple times here. This, by putting a price in here, this allows us to track and report for you the amount of money you're spending on each job. So that's why we have that amount there. So $150 I can plug in here. Now phone number and email, press put in your phone number and email. This is so that Indeed has the ability to contact you to help you set up your account or to help you if something's not working right. I'll go ahead and just plug in my number here, if I can type it, and my email address. Um, make sure that you put a source in. Now, I would suggest adding in a source um, besides just Indeed.com. I would actually put Indeed sponsorship or something like that. So I could go ahead and, and come in here and put in Indeed sponsor. Um, and as you can see, not very good typing, right? And so that would add a new source in there to segment or to differentiate 
uh, job seekers and applicants coming from Indeed Organic and Indeed Sponsored. And so I can go ahead and just press Save Changes and that will actually create my job board favorite. So you can see it here, Indeed Sponsored, $150. So it's all set up. That's pretty straightforward. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and come back in here. I'm going to go and find a job and I'm going to sponsor it because this is where the it gets a little bit different than normal. So I come in here, sorry, it's gotta train me on how to do this the first time through. So I come in and press job board push um, and my screen's really small so it skews this out a little bit but I choose Indeed sponsored. Now normally if I press save right here if you've sponsored with Indeed before it would have had me pay with a credit card. Instead it pops up in this new screen. So this new screen will walk you through sponsoring a job on, on Indeed. You can choose your budget and the, the budget sets the amount of money per day that will be spent. So think about this again, this is pay per click. So imagine that you're spending say 25 cents per visitor, um, $10 per day divided by 25 cents means that you're going to get 40 visitors per day opening up that job ad. Now a percentage of those visitors will actually apply. So you're not going to get 40 applicants, you're going to get 40 visitors who actually click the ad. Once again, a visitor would be, they see this ad, they click on it, right? They come and they land on this page to view the ad. That's a visitor. So if I set my budget at $10 per day, I'm getting $10 per day worth of those visitors. If the, if the price was 25 cents per visitor, once again, that would be 40 visitors per day. Now, a percentage of those visitors who land on this job ad here are actually going to press apply and apply for the job, and that's the number of applicants you'll get in the system, right? So, I need to choose my amount, and I go ahead and press sponsor job on Indeed now. That'll bring me to this second page. Now, at this point, Indeed is going to send you an email uh, to help you get your account set up from that point forward. And I'm going to show you kind of the different options on that. But there is this next page where you can actually put in your phone number. Um, sharing your phone number with them will enable Indeed sales team to contact you, talk to you about your ad performance, you know, offer suggestions, all that kind of stuff. So you can either add your phone number or you can skip it. Um, and that's it. So where, where in the past you would have put your credit card in and paid us directly, now you don't have to do any of that. You're now going to get an email. Now, let me show you kind of what the options look like after that. So I've got this little slide deck that Indeed provided us. There's three different types of employer experiences from that point forward. Number one would be if you're brand new to Indeed, you've never worked with Indeed, don't have an account. Number two would be if you already have an Indeed account, but you don't have billing set up. And the third one would be you have an Indeed account and billing is set up. So I'm just gonna buzz through this really quickly. So once again, now that I've actually posted that job and sponsored it, Indeed's gonna send me an email. And you can watch for it in your inbox. You can go search for it, make sure it doesn't go to spam. But so Indeed's gonna send me an email with a link. Um, and that link's gonna take me where I can go in here and it says sign in to promote your job, finish your setup. You're gonna click on that. You're gonna put in your billing address. You're going to create a password which will help you get logged in. And again, this is if you don't have an Indeed account. You plug in your credit card number, right? And at that point, you should be good to go. Indeed will now take and connect your jobs to your account. So that's the experience, right? Now, at that point, you can come in here and you can see all your jobs that you have active, see how many impressions. Now, once again, an impression, let me jump back over here to our thing. An impression means how many times did your little ad like this show up in a search? So if we're looking at the example they're showing us, this ad showed up 5,500 times, 5,500 uh, different uh, people. Now, it could actually be the same person multiple times, but 5,500 times that ad showed up when somebody was searching Indeed. 117 people actually clicked and 13 people applied, right? So now, once that apply happens, they're, of course, going to be showing up immediately into Applicant Pro. Some of those applies, depending on your setup, may automatically be flagged as complete. Some of them... Um, might get an email back from us where they have to go out and fill the long application. So if you want to shorten up the application process so that they're automatically flagged as complete, you can reach out to support. But so this is the, the benefit of setting up an account directly with Indeed when you're sponsoring those jobs. You now get to see more information, right? You get to see your average cost per click, your average cost per application, uh, where you're at on the page, see average page. This would be what page is your ad showing up on. Um, and so this information gives you a lot more access to be able to see 
um, what should I do, right? Should I spend more money per day? Should I spend more money or less money per day? How is this working for me? Now, there are things you can do to adjust the results of this, and you can reach out to Applicant Pro Support to help you with it, right? For instance, impressions are based on some of the keywords in the ad. So if you're not getting very many impressions, it's possible changing some of the keywords in the ad might generate additional people. Give you a great example of that. A bank teller job is also a customer service job. There's a whole lot more searches for the word customer service than there are teller. So if you want to increase the number of impressions you're getting or, or how often your job is showing up, maybe adding the word customer service to your bank teller job ad would help. Now, let me jump back. That gives you impressions. Clicks, if you think about it, has to do with how inviting this job ad right here is. So, sometimes we might use some super creative job titles. I, I have some clients who, who don't want to call their fast food jobs fast food jobs, so they come up with a super exciting title. Subway kind of pioneered this with their sandwich artist uh, title. Um, but if your job title doesn't make sense to the job seeker, they won't click on it. And so you got to keep that in mind. My job title and this initial, you know, kind of couple sentences that show up here, you know, displaying the pay rate. If, if you don't display pay rate, they may not want to click on it. If you display pay rate and it's too low, they might not want to click on it, right? Just put yourself in the mind of the job seeker. As you're looking at, at this report that's showing impressions versus clicks, that has to do with how inviting what shows up here is to the job seeker. Now, excuse me, we have indeed applied turned on. Um, which is easily apply helps generate additional clicks. Next up, clicks versus applies. Now, this is the next stage of that, right? When I actually land on the job listing itself here, what motivates the job seeker to actually apply? Um, this session is not about that. I'll record a session about what you can do, but the, the key takeaway here is this job ad needs to convince the job seeker to want to apply for the job. It needs to make the job sound exciting and inviting and make them uh, want to actually apply. Um, so in this instance here for up, you know, I actually know these guys are some friends of ours. Um, this is kind of a default uh, job description type ad and I would suggest you not do that. I would suggest you write an ad that is a, tells a story that's exciting, that's written from the perspective of a job seeker and specifically what you want to answer is this question. What can I write in here that will make somebody excited about wanting to apply for the job? I want them to read this ad and go, oh my goodness, this sounds like the perfect opportunity for me. And all these uh, all these bullet points might not do that. But so when you're, when you're trying to figure out how to get more clicks to turn into applies, which Honestly, is what you want to do. Think about it. You're paying for clicks. So if I got 117 clicks and they cost me, you know, 25 cents per click, I just spent, you know, $10 or whatever, right? That $10 is spent whether zero people apply or whether 100 people apply. So my job is to make sure as many people as possible apply for the money I spent on the clicks. So once again, I'll, I'll record another session specifically around that. And if you need any help, we actually help clients rewrite job ads. But so that's, that's the important piece to keep in mind here, clicks, um, which drives up your apply rate. So you don't want to, now this one take away something that's super important. You don't want to use your job ad to scare away unqualified applicants. Trust me, it doesn't work. You're actually more likely to scare away good applicants than you are scaring away unqualified ones. So just keep that in mind. When you think about this ad, don't try to use it to filter people out or to scare them away. That's what job questions are for. If you need help writing good job questions and turning on automatic filters, reach out to support at applicantpro.com. They'll help you with that. But don't try to use your job ad to scare people away. Again, write the job ad so that it's exciting and convinces a job seeker to want to apply. So that's kind of the, the default data in here. Um, so now, if you already have an existing account and you have billing set up, it's actually much easier. You click on that link that Indeed sends you and you log in with your login. You'll automatically see um, the user inf interface prompting you to sponsor your jobs and you can set your budget and take care of everything right from in there. You won't have to actually um, go through and put in your credit card, any of that kind of stuff, because it's already in there. The last one would be if you have an existing account, but you don't have your billing set up yet. So once again, you'll post your job on Applicant Pro. You'll see the little sponsored thing. You can put in your phone number. All of this is on Applicant Pro. Then you get the email, right? You log in, and it will say, you know, 
billing info request, you'll actually get this email right here from Indeed saying, thanks for sponsoring your job. We see that you've got an account with this email address that was tied to the job that you just posted. Log in here to activate your sponsorship by entering your billing information. Once again, you'll put in your credit card information and you'll go from there, right? Now, it says the budget will need to spend in full prior to re-sponsoring the job to avoid overspending. What this means is you have to let your entire budget run before you do it again. You don't want to spend $150 or, or pay $150 only as part of it and then sponsor it again and again and again. So that's kind of the key takeaway here. You need to make sure if you're going to re-sponsor the job that it's used the entire amount of the budget, right? And so it actually, this all of this information here can be trained through with Indeed, um, but you'll see you get an email from Indeed letting you know that the job has reached its budget. And so at that point, you can go back into Applicant Pro and sponsor the job again for another $150 or $300 or whatever you set it up as, right? Um, so that is the end of this presentation. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to support at applicantpro.com. We're really excited about this. We think that for many of our clients, especially the bigger clients who do a lot more sponsoring, this gives you a lot more access to data and information. Um, some of the smaller ones, this might be a little bit overwhelming. Again, especially, especially this page right here, this shows what these pieces mean. So if you have questions about it, how to maximize it, um, check out our future videos that will be coming out. Reach out to support at Applicant Pro. We'd be more than happy to help you with it. Um, or once again, talk to your Indeed rep. They also may have some ideas of what you can do to increase the, the effectiveness of your ads. But thanks so much for watching. Again, if you have any questions, email support at applicantpro.com. If you have suggestions for how to improve our videos or how to improve our training series, uh, feel free to shoot me an email, ryan at applicantpro.com. And have a great new year.